Hey man, y'all know what's going on, man. This your boy, man. See, five with dread, man. I can't miss the Monday night, man. You watching Dip TV? All right, I got a special guest, something different for the folks at too. By the way, uh, you know, I know you're new to the show or whatever, but I like to be like for the folks that's been on a rock, bro. Can you tell these folks who you is? And where are you from? Well, man, y'all know this your boy, man. You know, a lot of motherfuckers know me about your bill. But guess what? Well, you know, it's hard to change your name. I didn't change my name to 65. <laughs> you know, who did wait. 65, right? Yeah, I'm from North Michigan, man. I'm from Klondike Speed in here, man. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it is. Man, just talk to me about growing up in Klondike. You said Speed in here, right? Yeah. They tell me about just growing up over there, bro. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Speed in here was a bad motherfucker. Anybody who know Clum, I know Clum like was a bad motherfucker, man. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga was getting real money on that motherfucker. You heard Project Pat Juice, they know said Speed Hearing in their song. So oh, dear. You know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I was a young nigga. I moved to Clum like I was what? I think I was probably about, I was probably about eight, nine. Okay. Yeah, okay. About eight or nine. But she, you know. I still rip and go there right now. It's fucked up right now, no, but I my still love my, my city, though. Yeah, I still love my hood, for sure. When you on, well, I know, man, we both, we know, we both know each other. He went to North Side with me and shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just tell me far, like, I remember you, bro, like, from balling, bro, like, I don't need for ass, <laughs> though, for real, though, like, real shit. Just tell me, like, when, like, how long you been hooping and shit, like, cause, uh, uh, folks that, like, know you, they know you from the club, but they don't know, like, you was really a hooper, like, you really <laughs> doing this shit. <laughs> for real, Boy, for real. you tough, boy, you tough. But, yeah, but, like, what I was saying, like, could you like elaborate like far as you hooping, bro? Can you tell these folks you was a balling motherfucker for? Oh uh, yeah, I was a bad motherfucker. And then I played college. I went to what? I went to Southwest a year, then left there and went to Atlanta and mm -hmm. played there for a year. So you know, I was a balling motherfucker. Nigga, at one point in time, you couldn't say my name. With <laughs> no motherfucker hooping in the nigga. I was the nigga caught me playing one on one. I'm pulling up jump shots or whatever, like. I was pressure for real. Need to hate to see me walk in the gym. Mo, they walk in yeah. the gym. Oh man, they go yo bill shit talking ass. <laughs> oh God. Hey, <laughs> what, I'ma talk plenty of shit, but I'ma tear your ass up too though. Man, see, a lot of niggas can't do that. Listen, this my hair one of the first dude, like, you know how dude be long and shit. They used, this my hair shooting them three, like, he came with Durant and shit, some motherfucker back then, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at it, my nigga, time I was still creeping around. We been shooting jump shots mm. from deep back in the day. Most definitely. Been doing it. For most real. definitely, most definitely. Bro, tell me, like, well, as far as, like, traveling and, and playing basketball, like, how was that experience? You know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't gonna lie, though. If I can wind this shit back, I'll do it again, fool. That shit Man, so okay, we go, we go, we go, go back and forth. And as far as on, okay, we know we hooped and shit. Now, tell me, bro, about like if these folks gonna watch my journey, they gonna be like, I know this dude because I played this damn top game or something. Else, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, bro, just tell me on some real shit. Cause tell me, like, bro, how did you learn? Like, where, where, how did? Was that already when you was hooping, or that something you learned after you got through hooping? When I tell you this, you're gonna fuck you up, bro. Oh, listen. <laughs> I know how to I know how to do the three car model shit, bro. I mm. don't do this shit without in third grade. Mm. I did like a little nigga, my nigga, you know him. When I tell you, Greg. Spud bro the Greg from Klondike. I do I'm all definitely doing that. I'm nigga, all definitely doing that. He would come to the schoolhouse in the third grade, nigga, showing it to us, right? Okay. <laughs> so nigga, he was showing to us, me and he was so gang tight. That I, he showed me how to do it. I've been on how to do this shit that long. Damn, so look, bro. So check this out. They gonna fuck you up. So I was out one day. I seen some young niggas I knew from the hood. I was walking. They were doing the three card at the stove. Okay. I'm like, what the fuck? I know how to do this shit right there. <laughs> so I'm like, damn. So I seen them folks bend money. So 
Yeah. Oh, that's like, <laughs> even so, more attractive. So my tennis went all the way up. <laughs> more deal. So nigga, the next day, shit, nigga, I had me some calls. Nigga, I was in the house practicing. Nigga, I was doing on my brother. You know, <laughs> okay. Just bullshit. Okay. Just bullshit. So shit, before you know it, nigga, I was at the store. Damn. At the next hood, but then I was doing the card first. I wasn't even doing the top game that you, you started. You started with the card. Man, shit, my OG, he gave it in motherfucker top game. Shit, I took that shit and ran with it. Ooh, we. Like, I'm talking about, like, really ran with it. Bro, can you tell me, like, okay, what's the most, not to get all in your business, but what's the most money you didn't tag? Because you, like, state to state with this shit. This shit ain't just in Memphis. Like, each state right. to state. What's the most money, like, in the saying. state that you didn't get? <laughs> off, off, the, off, off that you're right about, now. You talking about just... One let me going out of town like one person or the most I won in one time. Well, yeah, the most that you won in one time, bro. The most I won in one time. I say at one time. Shit, I say uh, about a hundred thousand. Shit. And I I was in L.A. Oh, oh yeah, that shit money out there. See, so then you know, do around when the corona leaves, you know, so my money floating around mm. like that. So I went on third shit. Then when I was going back and forth, I was going back and forth to Kelly. Damn. For about shit, about four five months straight. When Just corona, on it. When corona first hit, yeah, for out, nigga. This shit, I ain't gonna lie. See, nigga got respected, bro. Like. A lot of niggas be like, probably think, think this nigga here selling dope or, you know what I'm saying? Nah, this nigga really hustling like a motherfucker. Like, it probably ain't yo the hustle, but this shit a real hustling. You just heard what this man said, man, 100,000 one fucking night type shit. Yeah, this is, this and that was in one day. One day, I'm sorry. Yeah, you see day, what I'm saying? Including all the other days. They were just gonna make that day. Damn. Damn. Nigga, in Cali alone, nigga, I left that motherfucker about 350. Okay, so can you tell me like do you be cuz I saw uh, shout out to Big Mo and other guys like I saw a couple of them out there like doing what you do Have you did you put them on it or they just something that they already was on? Cause I know you you're in cahoots with everybody you see what I'm saying? I, I, was, I had to be honest. I was like one of the first niggas in Memphis to do top of all. No, I know you was the first but I'm saying like Big Motor, I, I, Yeah, Big Motor. I gave Big Motor the game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I that's all I knew, Kyle. I saw, I saw him with you. I saw y'all together, then I see him doing it too. You see what I'm saying? So I had to. Uh, yeah, that's my nigga. Okay. That love. That love, though. That love, though. You pay the guy, though. Yeah, yeah. Man, like, uh, what's the worst shit that happened as far as doing this right now? Shit, I don't know. Shit, I don't know. Shit, shit, shit. 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 Shit, shit, Mo Those different. niggas will try to check your temperature to see where you at. I feel you. I want to say, no, you know, a nigga ain't no hoe, but, you know, sometimes I might have to give a nigga one back. Yeah. Sometimes I might not, but, you know, I have certain niggas, they done lost and got on a battle. Yeah. Like, you no, know, so I had a motherfucker beat me before. Like, okay. you know, I don't always win. Yeah, I've been saying, say, do you... Because you don't always win. Like, folks, folks will be like, oh, well, he out. It's, it's a hustle, but... Like, you don't always win. You uh, win most of the time, but you don't always win. I don't always win. You just like watch that motherfucker, you watch it. But, you know, it's it in crazy situations in this shit, though. So, For sure. Motherfucker who think this shit sweet, it ain't sweet at all. Most oh, definitely, man. You are the king. Hey, this, you the king of this shit, bro. You from the in, and this man from the end. But tell me, like, what for get off the record? Like, just tell me how you be catching shit, like, in the moment, bro. Like, when you go viral, when you record these whole fight, like, just tell me about your senses of just being in the right spot at the right time on shit. Yeah. I gotta say this. Hold on, bro. It's a nigga in New York, see? I'm telling you, I do my shit, cuz. It's a nigga in New York. I know he be with camera on them shit. For real, for real. So, the mind sure is your junk. You know, you had the, uh, the crack Head lady, and she was asking her uh, something for. Nah, her. she uh, she would ask me for some chicken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Folks still shirt that young. Good. Like, that motherfucker in New York. That what I'm saying. That motherfucker. That motherfucker got like eight, nine million views right uh, now. That what I'm telling right you. Right now, now. Like, but then that's not my first time going viral. That what, that, and then what I want to say, like, how do you just? What was your first time just kissing shit, and that motherfucker just went viral on Facebook or whatever? Man, the first time I caught something went viral like this and crazy. Was when I had the lady. I was, you remember know, Big Duke? You know Big Duke? No, Duke. Duke. Family. 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 That's so family. Shout out Big Duke. I had, uh, had this lady. Rest in peace. She's dead right now. Mm -hmm. Her name, uh, 
Greyhound. Okay. Nigga, she would, she had, she would come on her with a plastic fork. <laughs> Like literally, like literally, you gotta go find it, bro. Mama. She was literally doing her hair <laughs> like this with a full pot, <laughs> swooped it up and everything. Food like them motherfucker went ham. I think them motherfucker had like about thirty. Damn. And then folks, then like I wasn't even posting to get paid on folks. Like, food, you know, you can get paid off. Mm -hmm. I said I wasn't even looking at it like that. Right. Just, I'm just posting. I just, just kissed posted. this shit and pulled it up. Yeah, talking about like them motherfucker ran all the way up, and by that time, and then when I really. My viewers start going up, going up. Like, okay. I, I can post something right now and post something. It gonna go hang. Come on now. I just saw the damn, uh, what's that junk that fight you just posted? It's all the city. Yeah, hang. cause them motherfuckers, everybody shirt, everybody shirt, shirt. You know what I'm no, saying? Somebody goes hang, bro. Well, you be at the, you be at the right place. I don't, I don't right know how it's just like my instincts, because, you know, I'm already be on alert, be watching shit anyway. Cause I'm, all, I'm from the hood, cause I'm already trying to peep everything out anyway. And then, I'm already damn fool, so I'm going to automatic fall right into, oh, bam, bingo, found already ready. What <laughs> fuck yeah, you talking about? He already cocked the red. Yeah, my ready. Real shit, I noticed it, bro. You be catching a lot of little shit. <clears throat> but tell me, okay, <clears throat> let's tell me, like, what made you go into, this is Mr. Monday Night, by the way. So, tell me what made you get into the, like, the club, like, the promoter thing, you know what I'm saying? What made you just go on slide over there? Ooh, what you man. already getting your money, getting doing what you do, you know what I'm saying? Man, to be honest, I ain't never think about doing this shit. My nigga, my partner, BB, Big Trav, you know, he knows how to do it too. Travis Far, Travis Jackson. Okay, shout out Big Trav, I do know so, exactly who you talking about. My partner, he he was telling me, you know, he was going out of town and she was like, man, if we need to get you a night, bro, I said, man, I'll be gone too much, man, I'll be fucking no club, fool. Mm -hmm. I'm telling him that. He said, man, I'm telling you, man, get you a night, bro. You know, you ain't going to be doing that anyway, man. No, the fuck I'm going to come fuck with you. No, dear. So, you know, one time I came, I had asked the dude in Infinity. I was like, man, man, you man, you got a night for me? But he not already told the dude, man, my partner want to get a night. Okay. So, when he seen me, he was like, man, I told him, man, BB told him I'm going to get a night. He said, yeah, man. He said, man, come back and holler at me. So, I had went out of town and came back. No, dear. It was on a Sunday. So, I was like, man, what night you got for me? He said, man, I don't got nothing but Sunday and Monday. Mm. Man, don't you know how hard it is and I come out on a Sunday and Monday? Man, what the fuck you so said? So, check this out. So, he was <laughs> like, man, he said, well, I got Monday for you. He said, I got somebody to do on Monday right now, but I think he finna stop in a minute. Okay. Because he ain't been doing nothing. Shit, he called me the next week. He said, man, your first day gonna be February the 21st. Mm. I'll never forget it. Bro. February 21st came. I ain't called nobody or told nobody nothing. Like, you know how you, man, yeah, hey, try ooh, to come on forward with me. Right, try to round them up. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I post a fly. Put them motherfuckers on. Grand number, throw that ad Monday. February 21st, I'm giving away 300. They would have started off with. Mm. Shit. I promote that motherfucker about, a, about two weeks. <laughs> for them two weeks, nigga. For money got there, nigga. That motherfucker, the price went up to 800 Ooh. The first Monday night, I swear to God. Man, that motherfucker was stupid. Man, that motherfucker, man. I'm knowing some folk were going to come. Yeah. Because, you know, I know a lot of motherfuckers and folks fuck with me. Did you think it was going to be like that? Did you think it was going to be like that turn out, though? Man, I never thought that in life. <laughs> I never Fair. thought that in life. Real shit, so, bro. when that happened, shit, I got to stop going out of town for a minute because I got to start getting money right here. More deal. You know what I'm saying? More deal. But, you know, I was still dealing in that. I was still hitting out of the road every now and then. But mm -hmm. I know one night come out, I come back early. More deal. So, yeah, so I did a couple nights there and she, and she got off. And, and that was, that, that was, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut you out. That was Club Infinity, right? Where yeah, you started was, it. Yeah, Club Infinity. Okay. It got too packed. It got too big for that. The club was too little. Okay. So I had told him one day, because one night, bro, the gym was so packed, fool. You been in Infinity before? Oh, yeah. You know that little door right there? Mm hmm When you first walk in, when you go in to pay? Right. Bro, the club was so packed, fool. It was a nigga paying me $50 to just stand right there in that door. Just Dang. look in the club. Damn, bro. They were giving me $50 just to just do Just to this. stand right there, bro. Just to stand right there because you couldn't go in. <laughs> so 
for the reason. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, I had to close the door, stop letting folks in. The line was all the way back there to the liquor store. Oh, yeah. Folks in Boston calling me, bro, we can't get in, they closed the door. Mm. I said, fool, ain't no room. Dang. Nigga, once you walk in there, you had to stand where you was at, you couldn't even move. For at that motherfucker. Yeah, that shit, it fucked me. I seen it come like that, I said, oh, wait. You got some. You got some on your yeah, hand. I had some. I said, "Damn!" I said, "I'm a club promoter." <laughs> Just you like that. I said, "Damn!" Find the time I said to a club promoter overnight. Real shit. You no, know, it might not long it take a nigga to pack a club out like that. Most definitely, most nigga can't even do it. That shit take years to do, bro. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. That's how you know it. Hey, I'm for fuck with you, bro. So I had to move to jump. So okay, yeah. So you did have to move. The reason for moving to offend it was. That motherfucker was too little. It was too little. Say less. Okay, so what's the what's the next club that they, they end up moving to? Man, I end up moving over to Simon Lamb. Okay. You know, the old word used to be called Where Is It? No, yo, your money used to own it, son. Is that in Fraser? Yeah, in Fraser. Mo Def. Oh, okay. Mo Def. I know where it is. It was an old, old rat in the auto zone or mm -hmm. something. Dead motherfucker. Oh, right. So, I'll I be honest, that's the biggest club in Memphis. I ain't never been inside that joint. I ain't nothing bigger than it. None, I ain't nothing in Memphis bigger than that club right there, bro. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta I check that one. That motherfucker was bigger than Stats. Damn. And Stats opened up both sides. That motherfucker way big. That club is big, bro. And yeah. they got a big ass stage, a big ass booth in the middle of that motherfucker. That okay. Motherfucker so big. Okay. So, bam. So, I made my flyer say, new location. More so, you know, I'm thinking, I'm gonna see it's still in Fray's. I know the same folks didn't gonna come because it's right up the street. Right. Bro, on everything I love, the first day I moved that motherfucker down there, food, it was so motherfucking packed in there. <laughs> and you saying about, this the biggest club and that motherfucker was packed? Bro, I had that motherfucker swole like God that boost was in there. Damn. And this just on me, just, just a regular night. On the party. Yeah. Bro. On um, everything I love, fool. I had motherfuckers in there, fool, from everywhere. Like, mm -hmm. I'm seeing niggas and I know they ain't too old. <laughs> I'm real, I'm walking in there, bitch, beside each other, and everybody yeah. standing in the club. I'm on the mic, like, damn, fool, I know you don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm More saying, different. I'm, I'm saying a nigga, like, damn, fool, when you start coming outside? Mm -hmm. I know fool that don't even go to the club was in there. You bringing them out, basically, bro. bro. coming, bro. I'm talking about that bitch was swole on it like I love food. I won't make it. I won't make it none. I won't make it none under three, four, three, four. I'm 13, like 13K, 14K. None yeah. under, none under 13K on a Monday. Damn. The nigga, look, and this after I pay everybody. I just for ask you this, this what I just for ask you that. Like, with you, with everybody, I got everybody after what I got. I got 13k to my fucking self. I'm leaving the club with 13k, bro. Damn. Look, and, and, and look how many people I was paying. I was paying the club on them. More different. I was paying the DJ. I was playing the DJ. I had 10 bottle girls. 10 Damn. security guards. 10? Nigga, I had 10 security guards. Damn. Like dead crunk, oh, you don't play that shit. Nigga, I had 10. <laughs> And they were loaded. And I'm in the hood. I got 10 security guards. More in the different. Hood. Yeah, Nigga, buddy. And I had to pay the waitress. Now I'm talking about this in the hood. Damn. Nigga, I nigga, I set the record. Nah, yeah, you most definitely did. In did the hood. <laughs> right there on Watkins in the in the, in the bay? Man, I'm going to park my way down there with <laughs> Super Low. Ah, oh, yeah, you had that motherfucker like Bro, jumping. Super Low. We ain't had that in the city in a, in a minute. That was, and that's why I had to get with you. Like, like how you feel, bro? Like, when you when them folk know Ed, when every Monday, them, them folk, this religious, this used to be some religious shit. Like, we feel to go shake that ass. We feel to go one of these hoes talking about they feel to win the money for the ass shaking the ass. Country. Like, bro, this shit culturally in the city. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, I had a belt, nigga. I fucked up. I had a twerk belt, nigga. They were winning twerk belts. Damn. Nigga, I had one that got a belt, man. A real belt. <laughs> Championship jet on the folk. Yeah, real gold, man. <laughs> yeah. Real tough. Yeah. So, Jay, tell me, like, far, like, okay, because we know, okay, so, we know you jumping, like, how many, how long did it take before, like, some other bullshit start happening at that club? Man, shit, it didn't take long. It didn't take long, how, like, oh, how many? I was like, nigga, after my second night, I knew it was some foo foo going on. Mm. Like, you know, I'm from the streets, I people hold out shit, I post look. 
folks standing for watching mm -hmm. and all that and then you to come stand in the doorway while I take the money. Like uh. you the club owner. You ain't gotta stand right there. I pay you rent this night. You can go to the bank. Right. Yeah, it might money. not. Yeah, they you might go to the bank right on your money. Your money's secure. More dick. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Real shit. it took all right, then I like this same probably about, about the fourth Monday. About the fourth Monday. Then you know, I booked Big Homie G. Yeah, I just, I remember it. I remember it. Yeah, so I ended up booking a big homie G, right? My dear. So, now nah, I can tell you what happened. This is what really made him trying to go south. I think some of that got the fight. They didn't really get the fight. And okay, he, they got they, the fight in the club. They, 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 they really like two homeboys. So, it wasn't, okay. it wasn't nothing like another side more. These two partners had got into that some shit going on to the hood. Okay. So, they ended up going outside. So okay. So, nothing it ain't happening in the club. They ended up going outside. So the nigga ended up, he had, he ended up getting the shooting. But okay. he, ain't, he ain't hit nobody. But nigga, you know how motherfuckers just be shooting, they want some bullshit. No so, bam. So one night, one Monday, the nigga came, he ain't opened the club. Hold on, you hold on. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so you telling me. You got the you you. It's understood. We I'm Monday, Mr. Monday night. He know that. I this pull nigga, up to this, the club. This the crunky shit in the city. Right. Most definitely. Most definitely. In the city. Like like for real. Most definitely. No bullshit. I, I ain't, you ain't bullshit on that. But what you telling me is you pull up and ain't nothing. Nobody at the junk. Nigga, nothing. The, light, the lights ain't on. Nobody there. So he didn't communicate with you. Right. He didn't be like, hey, bro. Uh, he just, all right, for, uh, it's old with. Man, the man, when I talked to him, the man said he was on the way. Okay. After that, I ain't heard from him no more. He ain't answer the phone or nothing. Damn. And get, and get what I do. What? He hit about a nigga. I got videos on my phone. Nigga, I had like 50 cars up there. They was already up there waiting. Damn. And get what happened. I told them, for man, fuck it. I'm gone. They said, man, I ain't moving somewhere. Go to the infinity. Mm. They said, man, we trying to know that they wanted it. <laughs> right, like, yeah, they trying to, they, it was. They wanted it. So, get what I do. What you do? Man, somebody pulled up there and said, man, we finna tell McCab to open the club up for mm. you. Shout out to McCab. So, get what? Nigga, we called McCab, nigga, I swear, nigga, it was about 11, 12 o'clock. Nigga, it was about 11, 30 going on 12. Damn, and, and, damn. Bro, we called McCab, bro. <laughs> McCab pulled up and opened the door, nigga. We had thought of that money over there on on the humble and that was still packed. Damn. Now that's crazy. On the humble. Just on the I got I gotta switch the same night I gotta switch location, y'all still jumping in that motherfucker. Did way. What's the name of uh, Matt Cavern uh spot? On Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes, that's what I'm at. Blue Shot the Matt Cavern, Blue Eyes, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, like so what what was what what like was it the sign? Did you feel like, even though John pulled the bullshit on you, like, what you think that's about? Do you think he was, like, jelly? Do he feel like, man, this nigga really, this shit really popping type shit? So, oh, I probably, he probably want some more money. You know how nigga be and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what it was, man. The nigga really was just hating because a nigga had some shit going that they couldn't do it. More definitely. That's how it was. I ain't going to say too much if a nigga was just hating on the money wise. Mm -hmm. He was just hating because a nigga. Did some shit that nobody else couldn't do. Like, okay. I somebody who want to take a Monday night and risk their money on doing. What the fuck? Nigga, I took saying? a chance on Monday night and risking my money. I didn't know we were going to do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody can't do shit. Most You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, so when I know, then we came and sit down, I met with the nigga, man. So, I told the nigga about Big Homer G. So, he already knew I had Big Homer G coming in like two weeks. Oh. Uh. Big okay. Homie G, Big Homie G was coming in two weeks, bro. Most I definitely. Mean, I got a little man. I was coming in two weeks, man. I saw you know, the video y'all had, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so when I came up there to have me, right? Right. So, you know, I pulled up there, I got down to the club, I'm by myself. You know what I'm saying? He, he probably had like about seven, eight niggas with him in mm. the club. You know, I ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> so, right. So, you know, I'm from the hood, so I'm going to have it on that night at night. Most so, definitely. man, get what the man boys had to tell me. What the hell? So, I'm like, damn, man, what type of move that was you pulled? Ooh, man, I, I got pulled over Mississippi. He showed me some shit like he got pulled over, like he had a ticket or something. Mm. I knew it was foo foo, though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm, I'm acting like I believe him, but I knew the whole time I knew it was foo foo. Oh, dear. So, 
I was like, damn, I know I got big homie G coming. Ooh, ooh man, give him the man's hell, man. What did it? Uh, big homie G ain't no bad. Damn. Because when he said that, I was like, ah, oh, yeah. He really didn't make Oh, he tripping. I'm in Cali with my feet up. And he ain't, what? That's what around that time. They're right. They got like, crazy. They told me something like, ah, oh, for real. And I was like, oh, man, so, man, to do your night up here, man, uh, do your money night, man, you got to give me, uh, you got to give me 6,000. Oh, hell no. Man, just change it up, don't you like that, G? You see how I'm looking at you? <sighs> More different. Man, man told me give him six thousand and rent the club out on a Monday. Man, Dang. what they do they did? That fucked up, bro. Man, I told that man, I said, bro, what, what you smoking on? That's fucked up, bro. So I, but I, I told him it was over money fine too, though. You know what I'm saying? Six thousand. That's a lot. On said, Monday. I said six thousand. He on count your pocket, but he count your pocket. That's what I'm telling you. He count. He know, He right. already know what you. He like, oh, he Monday. <laughs> I see it was a weekend or something. Yeah, probably. nah, I feel you. On a Monday. I still gonna be too high, bro. Real shit. On a Monday? Like, come on, man. Cut so, the drag, bro. Gotta cut this shit out. So y'all end up having to... The shit, I end up told, man, I'm coming down and get my shit. I'm rolling. Say so, that. So, she moved the car, make hell. Moved it again. Blue ice. Blue the blue eyes, first money at her. Went stupid. Mm hmm. Somebody went stupid. McCallum was like, ooh, because you know McCallum, he wasn't doing nothing over there. Mo yeah, yeah. No, yeah. he was cold, yeah. but he was trying to get his wins and shit popping out. Mo and did. shit, so you know. Shit, they thought that that money came over there, got down and brought some life, life to that motherfucker. Mo definitely. So Mo then definitely. he started getting his wins, and nigga, I would go over there and get wins to him. Okay. When there wasn't nobody coming. Mm. Nigga, I was in that bitch every Wednesday. It was yeah. 10 motherfuckers in there. Had to build. Now it didn't build on up. Now it got a little momentum. Now that motherfucker is doing what it do. Most I, I was in that bitch. I was pulling up every Wednesday. Nigga. One time the vice <laughs> was on. We was still in that house. The power went out. So y'all in that bitch. We was still in that bitch, bro. Like, oh, man, talk. talk to me about your relationship with, your, with my cab. I know. Uh, before we get into some other shit, like just tell me about your relationship with Matt. Uh, you nah, know what happened with I, 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 I fuck with Matt Cow. I ain't got nothing. There ain't no bad blood with y'all, though. Cause More she, different. He could have been like, hell nah, nigga. I ain't bring that shit over here. Woo. Could have had something else going on. More and they fuck with a nigga, so, you know. I can't say nothing about him, though, because he let me. I could have been. Not going no more for Yeah, he did some real. You said, nah, he a real nigga. You said, that might, you, you call him out of spite right. at one, two, nah, at 12, one in the mound. They might got up. That's a real nigga out the walk. Yeah, he opened that <laughs> motherfucker up. I fuck with him. Bro, tell me, bro, like, well, for, for, like, for the folks who don't know and shit, bro, like, with all this um, success that you just been having, bro, oh. Uh, some bullshit ended up happening to you, like, as far as you getting shot. Can you elaborate a little just on it? You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to get into all the detail, but, like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? On it, you know, like, to be honest, I ain't going to even lie to you. Like, I knew some, some shit like that was going to happen. Like, not happen like that, but I knew some bullshit was coming. But, mm. you, know, you know, I was prepared for it, though. You know, like. If need you ain't prepared for it, then like you would lose. So I was already prepared for it, cause when the nigga tried to rob me, I seen him coming. Okay, so it was like a, a little slick try nigga trying to rob me. Yeah, yeah, like, they tried, yeah, tried to. Nigga ain't get shit with some gunshots. For sure. And nigga hit me and hit him just sh that way. You know how okay. that shit go. More different, more different, so, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga came, nigga came, nigga something. You something nigga over there, I ain't get nothing. You something nigga already get that ass shot at. Mm. So, you know, that was a, a whole fucked up situation for a nigga. You something the motherfucker on a dummy play. Man. You know what I'm saying? Man, bro, you, I mean, but it's a blessing, bro. You hear? Just to, you can hear it tell your story, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas mind the shit. It go a whole different way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just hate that cuz it be like that in the end time motherfuckers see niggas just doing good yeah. and shit and they just wanna do some weak ass shit. And that bro. shit you be know crazy, what I'm fool. You got Real the same, time. we both got the same 24 hours. Oh, definitely. So if you wanna sit back and do nothing and watch another nigga get his, so you can take it, that make you, you a sucker. 
Come on, bro. There's a lot of soldiers out there. Bro. I ain't no, man, ain't no way. There's a lot of soldiers out there, bro. Nigga think, nigga think of niggas rob and cool. Man, I ain't never, robbing. ain't never been cool to me. No. Not especially if no nigga, if you, a, a nigga out here hustling. Yeah. Get this money, you want to try to come take it. Man, how let a nigga see can you get some? Real shit. Nigga, mm -hmm. I fuck with folks. Can't yeah. nobody say I ain't no pity motherfucker. Real talk. Nobody in life. Real I fuck nigga. fuck with a lot of motherfuckers, fool. Like, for real, for real. But, you know, it suckers out here everywhere, man. You got people heard for it. But they come. If you get some money, yeah. some coming. Nobody told you anything great come with hate. Most definitely, most definitely. But I just had to tap into that, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know what I'm saying? What do you have? What do you got coming up, Nick? You got some shit coming up for these folks. And I don't know if I should tell these folks or you should tell these folks or you really want to hold it in. But, like, what you got coming up, Nick, for these folks, sad, though? Man, I got some shit coming, man. I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about yes. Sir, I'm Real talking shit. about throw that ass toy on the way. Throw that ass toy. Oh, yes. Man, I'm talking bad about motherfucker. Man, on the road, okay, okay, man. Throw that ass toy. Mm. You too hard. You too hard with that jump right there. Yeah, this is tough, though, man. Man, that's hard. Throw that ass toy. Everybody say he come with a toy on these folks. I got three. I got three cities I already locked in. Okay, dude. Can, can this this gonna come? This is coming out now. Uh, what are what are those what are those cities that we come? Well, I to? got St. Louis for sure, Nashville for sure, and Detroit. I'm okay. going to the D, nigga. My, are you going to it, nigga? Them folks, the D, they want it. Mm. I'm trying to say, man. Bro, you vibe with this shit, bro. The folks say this shit every. Bro, I be at work. I got to. I be at work, bro. On Monday nights. Nigga, I get, I got motherfuckers going. Uh, uh, yeah, tell me about that, like, cause folk been reaching out to you. Tell me about the gloss. What gloss them had? It was some it was, situation with, with you and gloss, right? Was, uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was gloss. It was gloss. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my bad. Gloss, my bad. You know what I'm saying? I had did some shit with him. He had a pool party. No one had the Chicago shit down here. Most Chicago good. take on Memphis. I had did a pool party for him. Okay. Turn that bitch up. I host that bitch. Turn that bitch up. I heard about that. You know I'm saying I heard about that, bro. Turn that bitch up. That went stupid, nigga. Hope everybody from Chicago and St. Louis got to hit me up. That's why St. Louis mm. folk want me to come. Oh, uh, that's how. Okay. okay. Now the folk got to hit me up. Get my Instagram, man. I want my family to pay you come host the pod. Who was it, bro? Pay me gonna do what? Yeah. Like bro. I ain't know nothing about hosting the pod. <laughs> I just being me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But just know being me. Goddamn it, take me somewhere. Most definitely. So, our manager was you knowing hit me up. Shout out to Rico, man. I fuck with So he ever been hit me up and shit. He was like, man, I ain't grow. Man, I ain't gonna blow from the door. I mean, glory from the door sign I man. I want you to come out there, you know what I'm saying? I want you to hold the joint. I said, Yeah, I'll come fuck with him. Yeah, yeah. Cause man, we were talking about me, man, and her hype man and shit too. Oh, that love. Like we Damn. Was, he was talking about that, you know what I'm saying? Cause he was like the DJ doing no one knows he be on the mic, he hide up a little bit, but mm -hmm. he was like he was, like he was trying to like follow me on like me just sometimes hitting the road yeah. and turning it up because they know I'm a, a you crowd bring, please. Yeah, I just feel so and yeah, the 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 lighters, they coming, they coming to fuck with you, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Off the yeah, wall. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. turn, turn them bitches I'm turning them bitches up. Mo I'm turning them folks up, bro. Oh, I that's what I'm saying. That's why they come. That's why they. That's why. Shout out to Glow Real though, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I fuck with them folks, man. No, we, we, still, we still might make something happen. That you know, man, the man, we talking. Yeah, we texting shit the other day. Most definitely. Oh, ain't no telling what he might come. Hey, man, I got something on the table. But guess what? I'm on the way. <laughs> Did way. Say less. Say yeah, less, yeah. bro. I had to get. I had to get that right though. Yeah. Shit. Now we was talking, and could you let? Well, you could just elaborate more on what you were saying. You know what I'm saying? As far as on a on a light, yeah, on a humble type on shit. Humble, just like fuck with that club shit. I never knew that shit to do that though. Like I know niggas can make some money doing it, but I actually, I ain't gonna like I actually done synced it for my own eyes. Like being that club shit, bro. You can get you some money, but you can fuck some money off too, though. Like you can get some money, you can focus on them out. Like with me doing what I've been doing, and then look period of time I just had. Like it take niggas years to get where the fuck I was in. And there were a lot of 
club niggas. I forgot to put tell you about that. There's a lot mm -hmm. of club niggas from older niggas was mad. Because it took them four or five years to get to where I'm at. And I did this shit in a month. In a month's time. In a month, bro. Through that club shit, bro. On that thing I love. I made about, I made about 70. I made about 70,000. Just, and hold on, and what you mean? You meaning you just just fucking with it? Right now, I ran up seventy ball. Damn. And you I, knew, and you was like one of the newest damn. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm after seven. blue promoters. I'm, I'm talking about this. No exaggerate. No, you know how niggas just be just ball figure price, just estimate. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. I counted seventy. Seventy. Damn. Off the club. Some niggas been doing this shit four years. And I ain't made twenty. Yeah. So I they said. So they really had a lot of niggas. Well, hold them. It was a, mm. it was my promoters mad. They know who they is too. I feel the same. I ain't like, gotta say that name. Like I go, yeah, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna expose them. But like how you how that but shit. I will say that name. I ain't scared. <laughs> how that shit made you feel though? Like like you know what I'm saying? Just bruh, being just jumping in this shit and just getting. What niggas been trying to get for the longest? It does it make, do it make you like make you like want it more? Yeah, or you see, know what I'm saying? See that it make me want to go and turn out with those. So that's why I'm gonna buy my own club. Man. Mm -hmm. See, they're gonna make me just go and break them off. Nah. No, see, different. you still playing catch up like highs. <laughs> see, you catching up right now. No, so I'm gonna have a club, and you ain't got now yet. Yeah. You still bringing shit, man. I'm yeah. gonna have my own shit. All right. Yeah, that's, that, that's what it's about. That's yeah. what this shit about. And guess bro. what? Instead, gonna let a nigga come in that motherfucker. Fuck you, talking about. <laughs> yeah, Pull up. Yeah. yeah. Pull up, no push up, man. Real shit. For real. Man, I gotta congratulate you on that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just bossing up and shit, taking this shit where you you know it, where you know it gonna go. You know what I'm saying? But shit, like, you know. Yeah, when I first did this shit, I ain't had no vision for it. I was just doing just yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, more definitely. That now, shit, I'm with you. I'm with you. Now, since I've been doing it, I got to learn a lot of shit, what not to do, what to do, and all this. So, man, I'm up in the gong, just get the club and just turn the motherfucker up, man. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit, I mean, that's, you know, that's basically what you've been doing, though. That's just going to be even more of, it's going to be your shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. Hey, yeah. Every, every club in the city will call me to bring the shit to that club. Our every work. club. Can we nine some? Can we nine every club. club? Every club. Nine club. Prohibition. No, prohibition. It was it was somebody called me. <laughs> they weren't trying to get Not me. Pro, they, what what about? They were trying to get me to come over there. I had, I had status, live, street hall, mm. um, uh, life. I'm surprised who they try to get in. <laughs> nah, it's hard to hear you, but all the every club, like all them street high, all this shit, every club yeah. wanted me to come over there. Everybody. But then, why, why, why didn't you go though? Like, you were like. Because now I'm still getting my shit at Stadia. I was finna do something at Stadia on Saturday, but okay. I end up not doing it. But, you know, I'm still gonna do some shit over there though. For sure. I'm gonna get some, I gotta get some shit, everything's worth what I want if I really gonna pop out and do what I wanna do. Most but, definitely, most yeah, definitely. yeah, nigga, this, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, this shit finna go crazy, fool. <laughs> Straight up, and we crazy. got crazy. And a whole tour and some more shit. Yeah, that tour gonna fuck them up. I'm gonna fuck them up this tour, though. Most definitely, man. I remember this man from Northside just, goddamn it, playing tennis on a nigga ass, bro. Oh, yeah, going through the highway. <laughs> shit, chicken and shit, man. Playing chicks and shit. Real shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it was good to see this shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, a six figure nigga. Real yeah, talk, nigga, bro. I, mean, I never knew I was going to be a six figure nigga after shit I done did, though. Yeah, man. Because, like, nigga, you know, moving don't know what they, how they like. Nothing ain't got they like playing that lane down. Like, I'm finna do this and do that. You can do that right there, but guess what? Yeah, I was going to be some. Bumps and rolls and that whole play ain't gonna make you fuck around. Gotta make this turn and get back right here. Come on, so that's how it goes. A nigga say they're gonna do this and have it laid out, but it ain't always as a plan. No shit might go there. I never knew I was gonna be doing this. Never know I was gonna have been doing talking about. I never did, knew that. I feel say with, with that, what you say, the top, the uh, top, uh, bottom, yeah. bottom, rather. Uh, which one 
what is the most lucrative for you? That or the club shit? <laughs> I don't give really a fuck what's going on. I love top and bottom. <laughs> Say I fold the club because though this the jit out the way, I ain't got to worry about too much going on. See, top and bottom, it's a you know, little shit come with it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Because, you know, some people get mad and look all the occasion break out, but it's good money. That's excellent money. I ain't gonna say good money. This shit excellent. I feel you, know, you. you can wake up and go out of town in, in, in a weekend and come back with forty, fifty thousand. That's blessing, bro. Nice, nice. T O N C B O again. They said it. Don't sell dope. Do none of this shit. Thank God for finessing is a blessing. Real shit. Finessing is a blessing for real. <laughs> oh God, what's so that? You a living witness of this shit? Right, I done seen it. <laughs> bro, when, when, when was the first time? I gotta ask you about that. Far we talk about talking about when was the first time. You got you some real money on that joint, and you were like, damn, well, this is it right here. This is what I'm, I'm gone. Bro, when I first got it, my OG first gave it to me. I just come from out of town from seeing my daddy. He kind of, even though he knew my daddy. Right. I'm you know saying, he already knew my daddy. Oh, I got an Uncle Tony too that does this shit. He from Klondike, by the way. Shout out Uncle Tony. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I, uh, he showed me how to. Do it right. Uh -huh. I sat in the car, nigga. It was on a Sunday. It was Martin Luther King Park was, was dumping. Okay. And it was like, shit, like 14, 2014, 15, some shit like that. Okay, so that's when you first first got top and bar. Okay. So I was doing the car before that. Okay, so I just got top and bar around that time. Bit. So I was sitting in the car just fucking with it. Nigga, I hopped out the car, nigga. I was just getting my car washed. I had my bar shit. Man, I got out the car. Walked up on the floor, they was getting that car wash food. I won. I won. Forty five hundred. Right there, my first time ever doing what I said. Dang. When I did that, I said it's over. Dang. I said it's over. <laughs> I won forty five hundred minutes at the car wash. I said my man went off and do when I go out of town. Ever since then, I've been living out of town. I've been living out of town. I would be gone moving like my for we never in Memphis. Shit, what I'm in Memphis for? What's that strictly out there? Man, what the fuck I'm being in Memphis for? Nigga, I can go out of town and get a bank roll. Fuck I'm sitting in this motherfucker for. I wanna say I wanna do the club just now, so I wanna think about staying in Memphis. I feel you. I'm gone. Last time I'm gonna look up, I'm gone, my four family, man. Damn, why you stay out of town? Yeah. yeah. Shit, my fuck around the move. I might go out of town of town, diss me one more time, I'm gonna fake it for a month. <laughs> I was been <laughs> for a month for real. What's your favorite state that that you just can, you know I'm for sure I'm finna go here and get it. My my first state, my first. Nah, no, nah, your favorite. My favorite. Yes, your favorite state. The fact your state that I'm be like I I know for sure I'm I'm coming out here with some money on these folks. Shit, you in Nashville? Mm. Nashville. I usually go to Nashville. I can go to Nashville. Goddamn my. I can travel there one day, go there on a Saturday morning, come mm. in later on that night, nigga. I got like 15,000. Damn. One day. That was back then, it was sweet. I used to stay going to Mad Nashville. Damn. Then after that, I started following New Orleans. New Orleans. Ooh. Dude, that yeah. one, that one I had posted on Facebook, I went viral. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about that uh, situation. Yeah. On, on you going viral on that. I went viral, nigga. I used to, people just walk up to me, man. You the guy that went viral in New York, we doing that top of ball. And uh, New Orleans doing that top of ball guy. I'm like, man, that ain't me. And nah, that's you. And guess what, man? I'm trying to see how, how you do it, man. Let me see it. And guess what? They still see it and still go off. Damn. Yeah, they know I'm going viral. They be wanting yeah. to see it. They just got it. It's just because they see it on TV. I mean, on yeah. TV and on YouTube, on the internet. Right. They want to see it live. Right. See, if they see it live, it's a whole nother vibe then. What the fuck you said? The vibe is crazy. <laughs> Man, I would be rappers in anything. Oh, word. Which rapper? Can you name some rappers that you have got? Man, I would be rappers. <laughs> like like rappers in the city or just just yeah. random rappers that well yeah. you do be everywhere too I, I keep be thinking everywhere. Nigga, yeah I be rappers nigga okay real rappers nigga I done, I nigga I done had, had offset did you did nah, you get I'm him offset then what you call in Cali huh what he did nah I wanted Papa to stop him. oh my 
<laughs> they already knew what was going on. And the partner said, hell no. Nah. <laughs> It's a hell now. It's a hell now. You got to lose like a motherfucker. You know what I'm trying to say? I got uh, NBA Young. I mean, NBA Young boy back in my home. Okay, you got her? In New Orleans. Mm. Thought this shit was a guy. Man. <laughs> For real. <laughs> it's just a couple. I got a couple more motherfuckers. There's a couple now I ain't got in my sight. They be like, hell now. All right, word. I done been around some motherfuckers, man. Don't mind dropping this. Come on, nigga. Yeah, let's yeah, do yeah. it. Then give a fuck about it. No, it was mm. money. More different. Yeah, yeah. Man, shit a blessing, bro. That's all I like. Hey, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to do yeah, it, bro. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 doing this shit, like, what's the most you think you have lost in the night? Or have you ever had, well, of course we had you. I'm sure you had a bad night. But what's, like, the worst night that you did? Like, damn, I just couldn't get these motherfucking type shit. Shit, nigga, I, I got out on the, a day before got them in and didn't win nothing. Mm, okay. You know, it be like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like motherfuckers said to know, nigga, man, I ain't made, they made a surge. Man, what the hell you saying? Nigga, I ain't made a plate. Damn, I ain't made a plate. <laughs> you heard me. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? No, yeah. it get greater later. What the fuck you said? You know what I'm saying? One night hit the day, guess what? It'll hit the mall. <laughs> nigga, I might make zero dollar days. Next day, got down and beat the motherfucker got a 30. Damn. Yeah, that way. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, 30. <laughs> For real. So now niggas be saying 30. Yeah, that shit. Nigga, I'm talking about a real 30. Thanks. I mean, man, I don't want jury and everything. I mean, I got uh. rollers and APs and Cartier's and shit, nigga. I Damn. Mean, nigga, I got over. I think I, I got a safe. Just full of shit. Man, go pull up at that motherfucker. You know the little box you got. You go pull up. <laughs> really? Walk shit. the bank. You got that nigga. Take the pile of box. Uh, yeah, nothing that was. I'd say about 150 in jewelry. That's just jewelry. Would you have, would you being a father, uh, would you teach your son the game? Yeah, I already know how to do it. Say less. <laughs> he Say got, less. He got put out of school before. Ooh, because he already popped that. Yeah, Jim. Huh? <laughs> Jim, that man's knocked on four ass. That's how you supposed to do it, though. So you got to have a guy got to get to him. Yeah, man. Like, you got to get you don't use it, it's on him, but I'm going to get to him. Yeah, man. For I'm sure. I'm getting on the gun. For sure. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, I can't get on his He said he got to put out of school. He on that tear that ass. Oh, man. He put the school on his own and popped it. Yeah. Well, so, shit. So, he, he woke up. Yeah. Like, shit, man. My daddy gave it to me. Go see what I can do. More than. Shit, I had to go over there and get the man from school. He knocked over all that. Yeah, for real, for real. Say this, bro. What shit. I know what's going on, man. Dip TV. Dip yeah, way. Oh, good. Like this shit entertaining to me, so you know what I'm saying. Like just watching this shit, it's like it's like cut. You know what I'm saying? It's real culturally, just fool folk just like this shit, cause you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And folk like to get out and shit, you know what I'm saying. But like I almost forgot what the fuck I fit us so like, far as on the uh, um, <laughs> cause I had to start this motherfucker off for a bit. What the fuck I fit us like? Cause I was just telling you about so cause. Mm. Mm-mm. God damn, Dip. What was you just, just talking about? Goddamn, Dip. Just that weed, Yeah, that's that weed. <laughs> that weed, see. But now, okay, so now we were telling, now, now, we were talking about far as on, the, on this tour and shit. Yeah. Far as that, like, cause I can edit all that out. But we talking about the tour and shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what can people expect from this tour? And they, like, people want to know if you coming back to the M. On some Monday night shit like Ooh. they used to. <laughs> oh man, for sure coming back. They just gotta tune in, man, cause get what? I got my own spot on the way. Most definitely. See, I ain't see that. I didn't know that. Most definitely. It's on the way. Mr. Money finna be back. Oh, Y'all yeah, gonna love man. this. Y'all gonna love it. Most definitely, bro. I don't love it. I'm talking about I got some out of town bitches. <laughs> I'm talking about. So you got some old exclusive shit coming, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I got some extra shit going on. Like, they been loving, man. I'm talking about Mr. Monday, my own club is on the way. Just told me, I'm going to post this on in a minute. I just ain't like saying nothing better, though. I'm just getting everything, getting the paperwork, trying to get everything official. So, you know. Most definitely. It's going to go down. 
Well, bro, I'm glad you let me come in, tap in with you, bro. I, I, I see what you're doing out here, bro. I like what you're doing out here, bro. You, you a different nigga out here doing different shit and getting good results from it. You see what I'm saying? Like, you ain't just, you know, everybody going to get a dope boy. They praise and shit like that. But they don't get nigga hustlers like you. And you know what I'm saying? They praise like as they should. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See another way of this shit. So, bro, I appreciate you coming to Dip TV. Is it like you gotta let your phone know how they can reach you? Like, you a promoter? You one of the biggest promoters in the city, bro. You gotta let them know, like, what's your social media uh, outlets and shit. Hey, um, you can um, add Z. You can find me at Maserati. Six zero five is Maserati six underscore five. And on Facebook, it's my kids yo DB, man. Tell how I let me. Fuck with your boy, man. See if I missed him on the night. You heard me that way. Dip TV. We about to be, man.